with problem number 24, which is an integral question. It just asks us to calculate, to evaluate the integral from 0 to 2 of t squared 3t plus e to the t and 4t cubed plus cosine t, all of that dt. This is a straightforward enough problem. Basically, all we have to do is just, um, just compute each of the derivatives, sorry, each of the integrals here separately. It's the integral from 0 to 2 of t squared dt, integral from 0 to 2 of 3t plus e to the t dt, integral from 0 to 2 of 4t cubed plus cosine t dt. So what are these integrals? t squared gives us t cubed over 3, evaluate between 0 and 2. 3t gives us 3t squared over 2, e to the t gives us e to the t, evaluated t b runs between 0 and 2. 4t cubed gives us t to the 4th, the integral of cosine t is sine t, evaluate that between 0 and 2. So what's our answer here? 8 thirds minus 0 is just 8 thirds. Uh, 3 times 2 squared over 2 plus e squared minus 0 minus 1, e to the 0 is 1. And 2 to the 4th is 16 plus sine of 2 minus 0 minus 0, because sine 0 is 0. So what do we have? 8 thirds and that looks like 6. 6 minus 1 is 5 plus e squared and 16 plus sine of 2. So how do we do an integral question is just three separate integral of a vector value function is just three separate integrals. Okay, our next problem, 25, is equation for the tangent line. So our function in number 25 is r of t is t, t squared, t cubed. We know we're going to need the derivative here, 1, 2, t, 3, t squared. So we want equation of tangent line at time t is equal to 3. So for this, we need to calculate both r of 3. r of 3 is 3, 9, 27. I just plug that into r of t up here. r prime of 3 is 1, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 squared is 27. So the, our general equation of a tangent line L of t is r of t naught plus t times r prime of t naught. So here, this is the initial point, and r prime of t gives us our direction vector. So what do we have here? L of t is... L of t is r of t naught, r of 3 is 3, 9, 27, plus t times r prime of 3, 1, 6, 27. So importantly, note here that this is an equation of a line. You should always, when you have, like, I ask you to find, like, equation of a plane, equation of a line, or something like that, make sure that you have the correct format. So we know this is what parametric equations of lines look like. Okay, uh, another problem, chapter 13, this kind of thing here. So we just did 26. Let's look at 27. Oh, sorry. Uh, we, sorry, we just did 25. Let's look at 26. We want to find length of a curve. So our curve, our vector value function is t, t squared, two-thirds, t cubed. And so you want to find arc length for t is running 
between 1 and 3. This is 26. So we know we're going to need, we'll write down the formula in just a second, but we should know that we're going to need the derivative. This is the, and we're thinking of this as a particle moving along. This is the velocity vector. So I think that looks like our velocity vector. And we also know we need the speed, the magnitude of the velocity vector. So 1 squared plus 2t quantity squared plus 2t squared quantity squared. So what is this? 1 plus 4t squared plus 4t to the fourth. Now, uh, this problem is made a lot easier if at this point you're able to spot that 1 plus 4t squared plus 4t to the fourth is a perfect square. It's just 1 plus 2t squared squared. So, because everything in sight is going to be positive for these values of t, what's this, the square root of 1 plus 2t squared squared is just 1 plus 2t squared. So at this point, we are finally ready to write down our formula for the arc length. The integral t runs between 1 and 3 of the speed dt. So we just found out that's 1 plus 2t squared is the function that we're integrating, our integrand. So t plus the integral of 2t squared is 2 thirds t cubed. And evaluate that t runs from 1 to 3. So what do we have? We have 3 plus 2 thirds 3 cubed. Uh, I think that's feels like 18 to me, minus 1, minus 2 thirds, so I will just leave the answer like that. That would be a fine answer on an examination. Uh, one more problem here, uh, that problem 13 of this type. So at what time t is the speed of the curve t, t squared, t cubed maximized? So we want to maximize speed for R of t is t, t squared, t cubed. So to find speed, we need the velocity. We actually did this velocity on a, just earlier in the video. So there's the velocity, and here comes... Here comes the speed, square root of 1 squared plus 2t quantity squared plus 3t squared quantity squared. So what do we end up with? 1 plus 4t squared plus, that looks like a 9t to the fourth. And so actually, this is an interesting question. Uh, I didn't write this question, I borrowed it from somebody else. Um, this looks like there is no maximum speed. So a bit of a red herring, because we can see here that the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 plus 4t squared plus 9t to the fourth, that is infinity. So we can, all, we can make the maximum speed as big as we want. If, if instead we want to minimize the speed, let's try to salvage the problem, minimize the speed, it's not too hard to see that that is minimized when t is equal to zero. If this was, if it wasn't something that, that you could instantly see, in any case, if I ask you about the max or the min speed, this just becomes essentially a calc 1 problem. How do you, how, you know, think, think, ask yourself, how do you minimize or maximize a function 1 variable? That's all we're doing here.